why React uses class name instead of a class attribute. We'll dive deeper than other answers you will find on the internet exploring most common bad answer, the actual good answer with explanation, and a checklist for all the things that you should mention during your interview. So the common bad answer for why React uses class name is that class is a reserved keyword in JavaScript. Why is it a bad answer? In most answers on the internet that I've seen, there is an argument based on JSX transpilation. People say that JSX is transpiled to JavaScript functions, namely multiple create element calls. Those function calls are what is actually run by React library underneath. And as a second argument, they take an object, which keys are derived from JSX attributes that you specify in your code. So the argument is that since class is a reserved keyword, it can't be copied and used as an object property passed to create element function. But it can. Let's pretend I'm your interviewer and I want you to test this concept in DevTools in Chrome. First, let's try to create a variable with a name that is a reserved keyword. We are getting an error, okay. But now let's write it as a key for an object. There is no error. We can see that it has become the object property. We can even access it with the reserved keyword. What do you say now? This is tricky because it was not always the case. In ECMAScript version 3, you couldn't do it like that. But ES3 was replaced by ES5 in 2009. It was before React was created. So it wasn't a problem, right? You have to remember that back then we still had Internet Explorer and its version 8 didn't support ES5. So to make React compatible with older browsers, it was indeed a factor in making a decision to go with a class name. Nowadays, we don't have to support Internet Explorer anymore. And even if we had to, we have transpilers, so we can use modern JavaScript constructs. I bet you are using not only ES5 syntax in your code, but even things from very recent JS versions like optional chaining or nullish coalescing. Okay, so the reserved keyword is not a modern problem for JSX transpilation. Why does React still use this funny class name hack instead of a class then? There is a very long post by Dan Abramov on GitHub with dozens of answers from other people, because the community has proposed changing the React API to use class multiple times. I will link the full discussion in the description, but let me mention the three most important aspects. Number one. Historically, class name was chosen to be consistent with DOM property name. It's important to understand the difference between an HTML attribute and a DOM property. When you write HTML, you assign attributes to HTML tags. However, the browser constructs the DOM using DOM node objects based on your HTML description. And these DOM nodes have properties. Interestingly, and also annoyingly, the browser doesn't maintain a one-to-one -one relationship between HTML attributes and DOM node properties. Therefore, when React was being developed, the team had to decide whether it was more important to stick with HTML attribute names or DOM node names. Since React itself operated on DOM nodes back then, they chose the latter. Hitting the bullseye, while the HTML attribute is called class, the DOM node property is called class name. That's where the name in React came from. Nowadays, React no longer strictly maintain this one-to-one -one mapping with DOM property names. So this is no longer a reason, but it is indeed a historical reason. There are two more arguments presented by Dan that are still important today. Cost of migration. Switching from class name to class today would require rewriting not only React itself, but also the entire ecosystem that currently uses class name. While the React team could have opted for backwards compatibility and allowed both names, it would cause division within the React community, with some people using class and others using class name, leading to chaos. The third and final argument is about the structuring props. Imagine using class as a property name for our custom component. Nowadays, it is very common to destructure props inside the component body. We would want to write const destructured class equals props inside our component. However, this syntax is illegal in JavaScript because you can't use a reserved keyword as a destructured property name. Instead, you would have to use in-place renaming like const destructured class becomes class name equals props. With this, the actual benefit of migrating to class disappears. Of course, you could omit the structuring, but as mentioned before, it is a very popular pattern and this particular case is something you would have to remember every time you write your destructuring lines for other props. 
In summary, the reserves keyword in JavaScript is only part of the explanation, and the structuring is probably the last strong argument standing in the way of refactoring React itself. And there are a bunch of historical reasons too. If you want to totally crush your interview and make a strong impression, there are some other details worth to mention. Using class instead of class name actually works. The name of the class will be passed by React. This support was added in React version 16. It only throws warnings in the console. Why warnings? Because still, it's best to use official class name. After all, 99% of React ecosystem uses it, and consistency in naming is a good programming practice. React element attributes generally follow SCAML case because this is a popular JavaScript practice to name identifiers with this pattern. But you should also mention that there are two exceptions with ARIA and DATA attributes. They are written with dashes and lowercase letters. And last thing you can mention is that contrary to pure HTML, in JSX we can use JavaScript so we can conditionally apply multiple CSS class names, either by using vanilla JavaScript operators like ternary operator or by using dedicated npm packages like class names or CLL6, which gives you more options for more complex cases. So let's wrap up with a promised checklist of the most important things that should be mentioned in your interview. Number one, reserved keywords in JavaScript. There is a historical aspect of object properties with reserved keywords, which was changed from ES3 to ES5, and the structuring issues with reserved keywords that are still existing today. Number two, what is JSX and how it's transpiled? JSX tags are transpiled to JavaScript functions. Number three, why we use transpilation in general for backwards compatibility. Number four, difference between HTML attributes and DOM node properties. They are often different. Number five, Summary. Currently the main reason is the structuring properties and maybe less importantly cost of migration. Subscribe if you want more React interview questions and answers.